The split container functionality of the DevExpress grid control for WinForms provides a powerful means for end users to modify and view multi-pane structure with a single grid view. In this video, we'll explore the basics of split container management and view options. So let's get started. We begin with a new WinForms application. Drop a grid control onto the form and make it fill the entire forms area via the dock and parent container item in the grid control smart tag context menu. Now we'll bind the grid to a data source. At the grid smart tag, click choose data source. Here we'll use an existing data source for this project, invoices binding source. Select the grid view in the designer and navigate to its column auto width property. We'll want this feature disabled so column widths can be manually set. Next, enable the grids footer under the show footer property. We'll be displaying summary data in the grids footer region. Now, We'll modify the grid display with end user split container functionality. Select the grid control smart tag and select add split container. Run the application to take a look at our changes. Right click the column header panel and invoke the split container feature. A vertical split container with two child panes is created. The two grids are separated by a splitter. You can drag the splitter to adjust the relative size of each pane. Notice each grid has a dedicated scroll bar. The horizontal scroll position is synchronized between two grid controls. Let's add a summary field to the footer. Right-click the footer under a column to choose a summary function. Here we'll select Account Summary for the Customer ID field to get a sense of the number of customers in our dataset. Notice writing to modifiable entries automatically updates to both grids. Now let's return to the original grid view. Right-click the column header panel to enter the grid's context menu and select Remove Split. We'll return to the designer to explore more of the split container's display features. To change the orientation of the split view, navigate the property browser to the grid split container and set the horizontal property to True. The default split orientation will now be horizontal. Run the application to view the changes. As before, create a split container from the head panel's context menu. Notice the panels are now arranged side by side. The panes may be horizontally scrolled independent of one another. While performing vertical scrolling, the grids are scrolled simultaneously. The grids are synchronized so the same selected data row is highlighted across both panes. Return to the original grid view by selecting the Remove Split command from the column header panel's context menu. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.